Oh fuck, not again. Oh. What, man? I'm just shaking my balls. Too many years of counseling. Too much money! See? It says to shake well. Ladies and gentlemen, the Taste Buds are finally back again. So, thank you for joining us. So what do we got here? Like, tell me what's going on today, because this all looks very interesting. So these right here are these Buzz Balls Chillers. Um, story about how we got these is that my sister was out, I think in Evanston or something like that. And I said, hey, pick me up something from the liquor store, something weird that, you know, we can do on the show. And this is what she came home with. Yeah, dude, I've never heard of these before. I was like, I was looking at these. I'm just like, I've never heard about these. Like, dude, I buy my wine at the liquor store like anybody else, but I've like, never seen this on a show. So this is this is going to be interesting and unique. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. It'll be weird. So let's see. So this one I got is a sour apple chiller. Okay. Let's taste it. You know, honestly, that's not bad. Really? Yeah. I'm shocked right now. Like, you look at the can, like, you think about the circumstances, you're like, all right, how's this going to work? And then to hear you say it, like, it's it's pretty good. Like, I'm I'm kind of, I'm baffled. Yeah. And like I told you, when we first started, I said, you could pick which flavors you want to try because <laughs> I think they're all going to taste like shit. But <laughs> this is, <laughs> no, this is actually not that bad. Okay. And it does. It does taste like apple. Wow. Um. So if if I if I may, I'm just gonna kind of poke at it this a little bit. So this is orange wine with apple, lemon, um, natural flavors, artificial company. Yeah. So you should taste orange wine with apple and lemon. I taste apple. I don't taste the orange or the lemon really. Good. Oh, so apple, no orange, because each one of these have orange. Mm -hmm. So we should taste orange in each one of these. But you're not tasting the orange. No, no, just apple. Just, just apple. green apple. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I taste it? Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, man. Apple. Yeah. But it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't taste the orange at all. Um, But it is not bad. It kind of reminds me of like, dude, it reminds me of something like we drank when we were 17, yeah. 18, like somewhere around there. Like the, um, it's like a Mike, Mike's Hard Lemonade. But yes. Boom. That's but exactly. harder. But you can tell it's a lot harder. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it's like over 15% for these. Each yeah. one of them is 15%. So you can definitely taste that it's a harder, higher alcohol content for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. But it does have that sweetness to it. Yeah. And, and, and in my opinion, I'm just going to say this like right out front. I think that if you were to have too much of this, of any one of these, it's going to lead to a massive hangover. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. And heartburn. Yep. All right. I'm going to go with mine. Pineapple colada chiller. Pineapple colada. Yeah. You like how I did that? That's a good, that's a big pour. Mm. One more? A little more? No, no, no. Okay. More. I'm good. <laughs> Verdict? All right. This one is definitely, definitely like more calm than this one was as far as the alcohol, alcohol content goes. I picture this like it just sounds so cliche coconut what do you think about coconut like as soon as you think about coconut what do you think about pina coladas pina coladas on the beach near water a poolside um that's exactly what i get and it's not overwhelming at all thoughts oh yeah that's super super coconut yeah so so let me ask you a question would you mix this with anything else like, knowing that this is wine would you mix this with anything and be like, all right, I want a higher alcohol content or I want to put this on the rocks or, you know what I mean? Like, or would you just, is this what you would describe as this is good, chilled, enough said? I think that. I think yeah. just because it is kind of wine, I just don't see how mixing it would would make it better. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. But I just think about water and like sun, pool, whatever, like beach. But yeah, I kind of like that... Uh, with that little umbrella. I want a little umbrella right now. Yeah, yeah. Right? Sorry, Jeff. I don't have little umbrellas. What the fuck, man? Come on. Preparation. I know, I know. No. This is, this is, uh, it's interesting. 
definitely, I would take, as, as far as these two go, this one over this one in my preference because um, I do like the coconut like a little bit more than the apple flavor. So, And that's where I think I would go. I would go apple instead of coconut just because I'm not a big coconut fan. Sure. And the coconut is so prominent in that one. Very prominent. Yeah. Mm. The apple is a little bit more um, docile in this one. Coconut is more robust for yeah. sure. That's that's a good catch right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That means I have to drink the rest of this, yep. huh? Yep. Fuck. Big pours, big drinks, buddy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. So this one is a peach chiller. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Peach, for sure. Peachy? Is <laughs> yep. it peachy? It is. It is. Okay. Peach for sure. Yep. Um... Again, it's it's not as prominent as the coconut, but more prominent than the apple was. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm interested. You got you got me thinking. I'm not gonna do oh. as big a pour this time. Now this one tastes, and it, it this one reminds me of. Oh, I can't think of it, but something like a like a 99 bananas oh, when we were man. younger. That sweet liquor. That's what this one reminds me of. You just got me thinking, brother. Oh, uh, the first drink, first time I ever drank 99 bananas. Like I didn't drink. I was 18 years old. I decided after one night, everyone was drunk. I'm going to try some 99 bananas. And this dude starts drinking after everybody's already passed out and done drinking. Done. And everyone's like, Jeff, you need a drink. Yeah. I was like, no, I'll be the DD. I'm the designated driver. But you weren't yeah. driving anywhere. No, no. I was, we were hanging out and I'm like, I'm we were gonna, there all night. I'm going to get, I'm going to try something. So I tried some 99 bananas and dude, that first drink, I was like, oh, this is good stuff. Cause 99 bananas like has a sweet flavor, good like mm -hmm. taste to it. Like high alcohol content. Oh yeah. Kind of right. I actually do taste the um, orange in this. Yeah. I do a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah. But like it, it does definitely have that hint of like 99 bananas for sure. Mm -hmm. That is true about these, like whatever flavor they say so far, they're not lying. No. It is that flavor. It's and not it one of those. Through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but to taste the orange, like this is probably the only one I've tasted orange in. The rest of them are pure. Oh, this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, Same. I did. Fuck. Same. This is the one I taste orange in. But just like very hint, like small hints of orange in that one. So, I mean, but dude, I could. This is this is no joke. This is my drink. Like as a youngster. Yeah. Like yeah. not dude, 38. This is not yeah. my drink. Yeah. Like at most I, I could probably take one of these yep. and then it's too sweet. You know, Yeah. the Asian flush starts kicking in. <laughs> heartburn. Yeah. Heartburn. heartburn. <laughs> you know, you're old when you got a, you got a pack of Tums in your pocket when you, when you go out drinking. Yo, okay. I got, I got you on that one. You know, you're old when it's not only Tums, but it's a Meprazole and you're taking a freaking, you're taking a medication to keep that <laughs> down. So I did not do that. I'll, I'll be experiencing this tomorrow for sure. But hey, it's a good time. So we'll roll with the punches, right? There we go. Yep. Okay. If you were to say like, which one did you like? The, was, was there, we do this wait, pretty wait, typically. We like, still got, we still got this one to go. Oh, all right. It's, it's, that's, that's you. That's you. Oh, okay. There we go. What is this? Let's, let's turn this. Um, oh, <laughs> strawberry. Strawberry. Oh, strawberry. That should be a good one. <gasps> it's red. Like That's a good sign. Strawberry. That's a good sign. Good marketing content. I like, I like how we do this when we do our tasting. We're like, mm -hmm. do you, you smell up. anything other Thank than smoke? I mean, I mean, when we do this regularly, like, this is definitely not smoky. But like, what do you smell? Honestly, like we've done this in the past. Like, nothing really. That's nothing, like, right? Like, I smell alcohol. Yeah. I what? smell really strong alcohol, or just like, there's a hint of alcohol in there. Yep. 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 Does Does that make us like not connoisseurs? I don't give a fuck. I know. We, we don't make <laughs> ourselves out to be connoisseurs. We're being the average tester just like you are. Um, we just like to drink it. That's it. Exactly. Um, I'm going to give this one a shot. We'll see. Verdict? <laughs> Strawberry-ish. It's different. To me, it's different. It's You can taste that strawberry for sure. Yeah. But it's different. Yeah, out of all of them, this is the one that's most most like alcohol. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Like less of what it says it is, 
more alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they just didn't put as much flavoring. And I kind of appreciate that actually mm. as an older individual. Um, I, I just like, I don't want my stuff to taste like an AMF or a Long Island. Like, sorry, those drinks are great in your 20s. But like, as you get older, like John said, do the heartburn city. And they're a good bang for your buck. Yeah. You know, because drinks at bars are expensive. Dude. So get the strong shit. Here's the thing. Outside of Utah, I'm just a wor- word of advice. When you travel, it's free pour outside of Utah. It's regulated inside of Utah. So if you're in Utah and you're getting an AMF, you're getting a Long Island, you're getting an A, wait, what is the other one? Long Beach? That's the other one. There you go. If you're getting a Long Beach, they're all regulated. It's not free pour. All right, rankings. Ranking time. Okay. Final rankings. What do you think? Oh, man. I'm like, it's summertime. I'm kind of at that point where I'm like, I love the sun. I love the pool. This to me, like if it was on ice, chilled, this is by far my, I would say my favorite out of these is my favorite. Um, and I could just like, maybe with a slushy. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah this one is my favorite. Um, in rankings though, I didn't like this. I didn't like the strawberry as much. No, I agree. Yeah. Strawberry can get the fuck out of here. Yeah, dude, that one's terrible. Um, apple was okay. It, it did remind me of kind of like that when you're younger, you're drinking this apple. What is that? Dude, there's peach schnapps. There's like an apple one. It's just all, to me, this is all young drinks. Like yeah. if you're young, I know I'm not saying I don't condone underage drinking. Don't do it. Don't we didn't do it. do it. Never. You ever. You don't do it. You don't do it. We're parents. We don't advise that. Don't underage drink. But these, young meaning just 21. Yeah. Just of legal age. Yes. Yes. Um, you're going in for another dip. Which one is this? Remind me, because I That's switched the them. That's the peach. Okay, I will take another another dabble of the peach. Mm-hmm. I got a little bit of strawberry in there, though. Spoiler alert, since this peach was the second, there, or the first second serving that I got, that might be my favorite one. Ooh. So, ranking, sir, continue. I do like the peach, though. Mm-hmm. I will say this, after having the peach again, the uh, the coconut is a little bit more overwhelming, uh, like in flavor. Like they they, just, they punch this full of coconut flavor. I think I might actually switch to peach, coconut, yeah. apple, strawberry. That's my, that's, I'm going with that. I'm sticking with it. John, what about you? Okay. I would have to agree uh, 50% of this. Whoa. Because... I don't like coconut. That's that's not my it's not my thing. You know, I don't really like Al- coconut. Almond joy is not your thing? No. No. But strawberry was just not good. Dude, just, just it push, was just not good. Let's push that out. That was gone. Yeah. So I would switch these two. Okay. You know. Yep. Coconut second to last, just because I don't like coconut. Strawberry, not good at all. But peach was definitely my favorite. And apple it wasn't good. It wasn't bad. It was just kind of there. It was there for mm-hmm. sure. Yep. Yeah. It was kind of that like, I can go either way. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But peach definitely out of these four flavors, peach was the best. Yeah, I agree. I changed my mind after trying the peach again, because when I saw you taste it again, I was like, you know what? It's been a while, but this is the first one we tried and it, it is. I'll go back to it and I, I can guarantee it is overwhelming in flavor. Oh, let me finish this. It's just, it's a lot. It is a lot of flavor. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's and nothing that, but, nothing but coconut. No, no, and that's why I feel like it needs like ice to cool, like to just level it out. Like mm-hmm. bring that flavor down a little bit. And like, maybe this is like a good, like I said, poolside drink. Like, yeah, put it in a blender. Awesome. Put this in a blender. Number one for sure for me anyways. But I will admit. That on ice, that chilled would, would probably make it much better than much, what, what it is right now. Absolutely. For the others, though, I don't think ice would 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 change it much. No, no, no. And that's it. like you think about those 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 beverages that you're drinking on ice, and you're like, I like that coolness. Not only the coolness of the ice, but I like that 
watered down flavor. Cause like mm -hmm. some of those may be a little bit too pungent for people's palates. Mm -hmm. And this is just kind of one of those things like, it's just, they've added way too much flavor. These are good. These are good tastings. And like you, the viewer know kind of like where, where we're at. If you see these on shelves, like you have a good understanding of kind of where they're at. Would you buy 99 bananas right now? <laughs> Fuck no. Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> these are not for everybody. No, no, not for everybody. And even though, even though I think we have, have some pretty positive reviews for it. Like yeah. these, these actually are a lot better than I originally thought they would be. Yes. I thought they would be straight up garbage yeah. and just like too sweet and not good at all. Um, they're actually not bad. You know, I yeah. can't, I couldn't drink, I couldn't drink more than one, one ball. Yes. But they're, but they're not bad. No, I, I'm, I'm in agreement. A hundred percent in agreement. Um, I, I honestly, and it, we, we do talk about this temporarily, like from time to time. It's like, if you would drink this and like have some kind of food option with this. And to me, it's like, dude, this is, this is not a food option. This no. is like. You're not going to think about drinking one of these when you're eating any any type of food. It's just like, this is to make me feel good. Yeah. Like yeah. you said, by the water, you know, whether it's a beach or a pool party. For sure. Yep. You know, probably with ice, chilled, you yep. know. Yep, yep. Sipping on one of these. Just one, though. Yes. Just, again, just one. If we break it down for what we've had of each of these, we've probably almost had at least one ball each one ball and one I, ball one each ball each oh you're going for the apple again yep all right um so uh, obviously the apple isn't that bad if it, i'm if i'm yeah and I, i'm happy to go for the apple again it does so if i'm going back on memories do we do this a lot on this show is that does that point out our age at all memories Okay, there was an uh, like a, a time in my life, in our life, where you, we've known each other for a very long time, right? And there was just like this time where you would drink these sweet beverages and just be like, oh, these are the best things ever. They taste so good. And you drink them now and you're just like, they're fucking garbage. Yeah. Like, you can bleep this out, right? And beep, like over the... No, no, we swear. This is not a kid's show. We swear. Can you put that little advisory down at the bottom for those people that may be offended? Okay. Yeah. Parental advisory. Bleep. There you go. Okay. All right, John. What is on the agenda going forward? For taste buds. Taste buds. What What's happening? Where are we at? I think viewers are kind of like interested. Like, you know what? I kind of like what they're doing. I like the fact that they give us a perspective of like the ordinary. Not like this. Yeah. You know, Connoisseur. I think we're, so, yeah, I mean, we, we, we talked about it. We, we watch those other shows like this yeah, and they get super into the details for sure. You know, like we said, oh, they're, they're tasting the honey, the cinnamon, the smoke, the blah, 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 the blah, blah, blah. And I'm drinking and I'm like, I don't taste fucking shit. Nothing. You know, nothing. None of that. Yeah. Some of the older videos I may have been lying. Might've been, Just a little. <laughs> you know, and that's where we're at. Like we're at a point right now where it's like. We're making these videos like from our perspective yep. going forward. We're like we're not kind of sores. We're not going to taste that bullshit honey oak stuff. Like great for you. If you're, if you're into that more, more power to you. But like yeah. a lot of people are not that into it. Yeah. And this is the first point perspective. If you're buying this for the first time, you're thinking about buying this for the first time. We are peeps. Yep. Yeah. As always, if you've had buzz balls, chillers balls with a z mm. let us know let us know if you've had these flavors what you think and uh if you agree with us or are we dead wrong let us know let's have a conversation back to you guys